One, two, three. There it is. Have a great trip. Ta-da. I borrowed it from my brother-in-law. Cool. After you. Yay! Yay! Oh, what was that? Guys, welcome uh, to Pizzazz TV. Uh, listen, Whoa. up all night, amazing. Yeah. No, literally, I was up all night. I mean, I'm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't look it. Oh, well, thank you, thank you very much. Um, first of all, tell us how did this come about? Well, we all got phone calls, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah. Actually, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, it, it was that straightforward. Yeah. But no, it was always on the table. I think doing a film, and we cut. They we used to joke about it from like the first and second series of Friday Download, and we got given posters. Um, on the sec second second one, one of them. the series, we got given a poster as, um, on the last last episodes of a Friday download the movie, kind of like a kind of mock thing. Um, and well, six series later, we were doing a film. Here we are, yeah. Was it something that you guys had always had ambitions to, to be film stars, if you like? Oh, I mean. I'd love to do I think, no. I think um, most of us sitting here, well, mm. if not all of us, would, would have def would definitely do, uh, take up the chance to do a movie. Yeah, sure. So, um, yeah, it's, it was good. It was great fun, and I think movies. Well, if they're all like this, then they're all <laughs> fun. <laughs> I was very flat flattered to say I got a phone call, obviously, because I'm not a presenter on Friday Download. Obviously, I get on well with the guys. I've been on a few times, so when they called me, I was like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we should sort of explain a little bit about, about what it is. I, and I guess the, the easiest way that I've found to try and explain it to people is it's Scooby Doo meets The Sixth Sense. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. yeah. I've heard The Sixth Sense one, yeah. I think well, there is that balance of um, <clears throat> scariness and then comedy as well in there. So, yeah, I think you're right. And there are some Scooby Doo influences, I'm sure. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the gang. Band, the gang. And, um, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do that. No. <laughs> well, Bobby does. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, you, uh, Tiger, apart from you, you all sort of play yourselves, I guess. Mm. Um, but you've all got your individual sort of uh, personalities. Are they actually your real personalities or extreme versions? Yeah, yeah I'd say yeah. I don't know. Extreme versions. How do you feel about that? <laughs> no, I have a few. I have a because I feel like you have. I, I can be a bit like that sometimes. I think we. I think in real life, <laughs> Bobby, your IQ is a bit higher than the yeah, I'd yeah. Like to think. Star, which was written for it. You. Probably yeah. what it is is we've all got each other's character elements within us, and it was like each person ha got. A little bit of your personality pulled out so like Bobby had he was a bit kind of dopey and very funny and doesn't really just kind of going on with it and doesn't really get what's going on and then Dion got like the girly girl she was a bit ditzy and um, kind of thing and then I feel like my character was very no, but, no, in a good way in a good way but yeah um, I'm done, I'm done what's yeah, going it's, on. it's going in order yeah. actually yeah. Like, got dumb dumber no dumbest yeah um, <laughs> first setting myself up for that one but no, and then my character was kind of like deadpan, didn't really want to, you boring. know, deadpan. Very, yeah. very boring, <laughs> kind of kill joy. So yeah, that, so I basically just played myself. And then George, um, but you were quite, your character's quite naive, but then at the yeah. same time. Um, it's quite middle ground, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're I actually so. probably the most similar to your actual self, I would yeah. say. Would you say so? Mm -hmm. Not because you actually are, but because yeah. the others are actually. <laughs> Do you know I know what you mean, no. I, there, I can see what you mean. There are certain yeah, yeah. elements in there, yeah, definitely. And like, there was obviously, a lo um, we had like the space to like change a lot of the lines to make them fit our personality and stuff. So yeah, there was definitely aspects of myself in there, but it was an extended version of my own persona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That's the best way of summing it up. When you um, you, you go into the, the hotel uh, for or the house uh, for the first time, you, you ask the, f the first thing I ever ask whenever I go into a hotel, uh, which is what's the Wi-Fi passcode. <laughs> <laughs> what would be the first thing you ever do when you go into you know you're staying away? 
I think Should it's, I take my shoes off? What's the Wi-Fi? Yeah, mine's what's the Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, the Wi-Fi is I'm like, data roaming's going to be high because I'm out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> what's the Wi-Fi? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've not got a lot of 3G in my contract, so I'm constantly looking for that Wi-Fi. I think, I do feel like, though, when you're sitting, like, when you're at, you know, the reception, they're, they're kind of telling you all this information, I'm just, like, thinking, right, I need to ask about the Wi-Fi constantly, so that is definitely... Really oh, that's sad, isn't it? That's, that's sad, that's sad isn't really? it? Really? I tapped up at a bar for a shower, and then just, like, lay on the bed for a bit. <laughs> that's actually quite sad that we're so, like... And like it's quite sad that the first thing we think of when we go to a but hotel, I think it's like, just like Ooh. you've been on a plane maybe and you're like oh I need to check Twitter or something and that's what's quite sad know. about it that <laughs> so we have to rely on going on the internet do you not know, actually yeah. something I think I would ask it would probably be something I'd get into it in an hour and I'd look around the room and find if I could see a thing if I didn't I'd call reception but I don't think it would cross my mind walking in there I have to really? say like, yeah, yeah. I, I never I always it's, I have to get to my room and then I'll like I usually have a bath or shower that is like yeah. <laughs> I, I have to check out pillows <laughs> Check. Pillows is a big thing for me. Mm. You've got to struggle like, sleeping a lot. Do you like a big soft one or like yeah, a firm? Yeah, yeah, a big soft yeah, one. That's a firm pillow. Mm. No one. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, like, probably, uh, if I, well, they already tell you anyway, but I would be asking what time breakfast is. <laughs> Not that I ever oh. go, I don't ever go to it. Because you, you, you never get up that early. I, no, I don't, but then I mean, well, if I'm getting up, if I'm supposed to, like, if I'm away with work or if I'm in a hotel, like, and I want to have breakfast before work, then I definitely will go then. But yeah, I always choose sleep over food. But then oh, food, no. oh, I don't know, I'm just in a constant battle with myself. Oh, no, I love food, food or sleep. Food every time. <laughs> <laughs> About food and then sleep straight away. What would you say was the strangest holiday you'd ever been on? Mm. Well, I, I was, um, this is just, it's, I don't know if it's particularly strange, but it's really interesting. I was on holiday and um, um, we were in an earthquake and um, about two thirds of the water that was in the pool ended up out of behind the bar and sort of all over the place. And I initially thought was one of my friends had grabbed my sun lounge and was going Really? And, um, and yeah, about 10 minutes later, a massive wave came and the, the path in the hotel the, from one end to the other was completely cracked. And I think at the epicenter, about 37 people died. Which when was good, this? Wait, so did you, did you actually, Turkey. when that was happening, you just thought, ah. Oh. I was thought someone was doing that to my chair. And then immediately the water came out of the pool, glasses smashing everywhere. And then um, you were like, right, something's 15, going 15 on. 15 seconds later, everyone was like, well, we just what did an happened? earthquake. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the most yeah. memorable moments. Yeah, yeah. I've been in an earthquake as well in LA, but I, it was never like that. I didn't realise really? it happened it just until like someone little... pulled me in between the door frame. And then really? I could see everything, obviously. They pulled like, you into the door frame? Because apparently a door frame is the safest, safest place. I've heard that's the most bar. dangerous place no, to be. No, it's the safest. That was people that didn't want you to survive. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't John stand, the door. Don't stand over there, George. <laughs> stand by the glass. Mm. The window. Wait, wait, wait. I think I'm having an idea. We know, like, a few famous people, right? What do famous people do when they want to raise money? Ah, oh, sell a kidney. Or they hold a star-studded celebrity benefit with comedians and bands and sell tickets and merchandise and raise all the money in one night. I was going to go with sell a kidney, but that actually might work. What would they call it, though? Friday Fest. Yeah, we'll call it Friday Fest. Because it is a Friday, and it's technically a short festival, so Friday Fest. And everyone hates the evil part of the word festival. This is a great idea. 